Hi everyone, I am Dr. Deeksha Pandey, Additional Professor and in charge of Urogynecology Subdivision at KMC Manipal. This video is a follow up of our previous video where we were discussing what our plans are as far as urogynecology is concerned in this year 2022. And I take the opportunity to invite all of you to come here and get a chance for a physical interaction in form of a workshop come conference which we are going to have on 16th or 17th April year 2022. So please block your calendar and save the dates and start planning. In that conference, I can promise you that it is going to be a beautiful, a memorable event for all of you. We did it in the year 2019 in the physical form and made a lot of precious memories and had a wonderful time. And I want to bring back the magic of the same enthusiasm of conducting and attending a physical conference. So be there. Going one step further ahead in this video, I want to discuss some plans regarding the fellowship and online courses. Many of you keep on asking me, so we discussed all the points and we came up with some idea and some clarity of mind about these courses and about Urogynecology Fellowship here at Manipal. So I'm putting up that video for all of you to give your important feedbacks and inputs to us. First, you can leave the comment right below here in the comment box or else you can mail me also at manipalurogynecology at gmail.com. So the other thing I have been thinking for last two to three months is uh, the urogynecology course which uh, because I thought about it two three months ago so that time the only option was the online course okay so I wanted to actually start it from January but it did not happen because of many reasons and this will be in um, a weekend course weekend also every week I cannot do it so maybe every third Saturday Sunday we can have it and Saturday three hours and Sunday three hours kind of thing but to make it different and this is what how I want to do it I want to do it an entirely interactive course like I am sitting and you are sitting and you and we will not have restriction of time it will not be on lecture base I thought that before the course starts I will tell one month in advance I will tell okay the course for January is supposed to see Okay, you read about cystocele, you make your questions, you keep it ready. I'll send you YouTube links and I'll send you the course material also, reference books and course material. You read about cystocele, whatever you want to read. Okay, and one day we sit together for three hours. I will tell you what I understand, the practical information and if theoretical, because there will be PGs also who might want to join the course. So whatever is important for exam point of view, whatever is important for your practice point of view, I'll summarize. And then two hours we keep purely for discussion. Whatever your doubts are, you ask me, I'll try my level best to answer you. There might be some things which I'm also not because I, it is we all are work in progress. So even if I'm not able to, I will tell it later with either with the next lecture or maybe next day. So this was my idea of online course. So six months course every month only one weekend Saturday and Sunday on a prefix time will release the course material before only and tell the topic one month in advance I'll send all course material all YouTube links so that month you decide okay this month I have to be the pro in cystocele repair different scenarios and maybe when you have operated you had some fears or you had uh, you had some complication everything we'll discuss it will be totally interactive like you and me sitting like this like today's thing and for two hours we'll sit and just discuss so this was the idea of online course again I'll repeat it those who have joined later our audience is three one is um, like you can say those people who want to become urogynecologists that will be the group of PG's and very maybe senior resident who want to take urogynecologies as their future 
the second group who want to do everything who want to just go into corporate practice or want to join a medical college but don't are not sure that they want to do urogynecology they are exploring everything third group of our target population is those people who are already doing urogynecology as a specialist in their uh, but they are not sure that how to deal with they do not they want the peer group to discuss their problems like maybe they had some problem while Uh, doing a prolapse surgery or a COI surgery or a wall prolapse surgery, they want to discuss. So all these three are our target. So initially, I thought that I will divide it into a basic course and an advanced course, both for six six months. Everybody has to do like if you are doing advanced, it's better to do basic course also. But if you are very confident, like if you know that basic things, you can you can just join the advanced course. Do you think people will be interested? in doing these kind of courses the better thing is that you are discussing everything at like live huh. most of the courses are based on lectures that are pre recorded okay. or live but where uh, the platform for interaction is minimal like through chat box yes. those things so if the people are involved are less in number but they are getting more attention so obviously they'll be more interested plus some like surgical things are difficult when they are like uh, done online or like lecture based so if like uh, we they can have a place or platform where they can tell and we can discuss that so that will be more helpful rather than pure material like that that is also important for basic ma'am barely i don't think so half of the people understand what is urogynecology they don't yes. understand what is urogynecology hmm. they think yes, urogynecology is completely prolapse yes, surgery yes, sui yes, everything yes. refer to surgery refer that to urology Ah, same correct. same they mindset man same everything everywhere it's the same yeah. because ah, only i think in uk yeah, they properly practice uk urogynecology so urogynec as a field so here people are pretty oriented and they're very interested like i mean that they, is uh, ah, that is of the not if you see ha huh, overall agar tu india dekhi ki to it's barely hardly 10% people only the very good corporates and the very high profile uh, colleges where they're teaching they will know and personally ma'am i think um, people will love to know about urogynecology because as for the obstetricians they do want to do this high profile surgery then anybody who ha- who like me definitely would love to join a urogynec and would be interested not to get fear fear of all these surgeries and when you have a very big cyst to see propping in front of you when you go for a surgery and there is no dissent like i told you i have called i texted you that day that i was very happy that i worked with you and i could do it very easy so definitely people like me who have suffered once or who are practicing will definitely love to know about the case and your concept about basic and com uh, advanced yeah. is very good uh, the thing um, so one thing if we are giving them uh, this thing uh, like many people they are offering many bodies are offering the courses Correct. they given many private practitioners like laparoscopy they do offer courses but if that course is recognized by a body like body. suppose if it is for for yeah. recognized it, many people will take uh, take that up and they can write in their cv or it will help them in uh, further like wherever they are applying yes. so if it is recognized by a body then it will body. make it yes uh, yeah rithvika yeah. wants to say something so if it's an online shot <laughs> about urogynecology it is it is easy to advertise it ma'am like mm. and and if the, if someone wants to choose a one year fellowship mm. if they'll have an insight of what's happen what's going to happen in this yes. uh, online conference or what's going to happen in this hospital yes. if they have a brief idea they will know if they want to do that one year because uh, investing an year for something is very yes. like it's, yes. so if they know that beforehand a little bit so online course is easy to advertise yes. and also people can choose and also really i want to add something huh. uh the idea that you are telling about the basic course i think a lot of post graduates and also yeah. srs would like to enroll because they yeah. are, they are just investing two days in a month yeah. yes. and then getting to know basic bh maybe the cystocy if they are able to uh, do it properly they bahut look aisa hota because we know they have seen you operate a lot of them have not seen you operate uh, seen any complicated case or something if we give them an insight so it's very easy for them they're in- interacting with you they can share their experiences as you were telling So I think lot of people will be interested. I mean, not only just fellowship, we six months a certificate course. That we can give them a certificate that they have been trained in basic urogynec. And then if they're interested and they feel like 
yeah they are inclined towards going for urogyn degree then one year ka option they anyway have for a fellowship yes so i think a lot of pf post graduates will be interested because even the faculties in medical colleges are not teaching mm, urogyn yes. as such as a dedicated topic yes, so it's very Papa. important and no one is teaching in medical colleges so it's yeah. very lot of people but are online like course is going to be only theory ma'am like is it going to be only theory like because ma'am lot of people will think they are going to pay it's not like online course is free to uh, practically speaking a lot of people will think when only by reading like only by reading uh, whatever is teaching we won't get to know they would want hands on also mm-hmm. now what about hands on ma'am so, they'll ask about that also you know when they're paying for a uh-huh. and so, we were telling they'll so ask for hands on also no ma'am this is one of the last but one point there so what we can to make it more interesting mm-hmm. this is the idea to make mm-hmm. it more interesting we can have a test at the end of 6 months okay so whatever you have learned uh, we we can have an online test based on that and two people suppose two are the uh, so uh, first i was thinking actually to send them to uh, germany for a fellowship for a month i thought that will be too big for online course what we can do we can call them to manipal for one week yeah. or four days to get and that one month of observership we can keep for uh, fellowship like one month they can go outside so we can have it proportionate thing for everything isn't it Or- because they would want hands on ma'am only by reading we won't get to know how to do yes. only when you touch only when you feel you get to know how to do yes. so most of the people like even case i am choosing a urogyna course but i would also want myself to learn how to do okay. apart from theory i would want that also yes. so most of the people 100% they last for it ma'am here at least some surgeries in 2 3 days we cannot promise that will make yeah, them yeah. do a lot but at least touching of tissues and yeah. one or two surgeries yeah. we can definitely make them one more yeah. thing if you have 10 people no ma'am what we can do is two two people also we can call we can tell them prayerly only that if you get chance we will try to whenever they are coming we can put cases over there like that and like even in our if in case 10 people are doing online course two two people will come to manipal in two days how many were at least one or two cases <laughs> they'll know how to open a cystocele how to open a how to do a uv prolapse how to if they by the time they get sacro spinous fixation well and good at least two two people when we call they'll at least they'll get minimum now at least they get to see the case at least so we can do it yeah. okay. so depending on how many are joining we can do that mm. and i think this assessment that attendance we can see that everybody has attended how you have been mm, asked all those things, yeah. question all those mm. things can be there and then we can call take into consideration yes. and then we can yes. do yeah Yes, so this and um, after every class so every this, class this is course. what i have when yeah. i send the course material yeah, i'll send three things i'll send my material yeah, like what i write one link recorded. link to surgery videos and also the reference books okay. and okay. ma'am they can have like small uh, tick mark questions uh, like quiz kind out of the four at the end of every session like you have done a session It's over this to see and then 10 question over that so that they brush it up and they remember to read actually i thought of the every module every month will have a pre test and post test which will help <laughs> us to assess our our understanding also how much Knowledge. it is helping and maybe we can make a scientific paper also out of that yeah. but i think it will be too much work to start with for me so i don't want to take too much burden and too much promises i don't want to do so maybe next year we'll keep this and we'll see how it goes okay so um, one thing you will have to tell me the topics So I was thinking we should include all these topics: entire compartment one month, two months for central compartment for prolapse, and then one month for posterior compartment. But you also think of maybe we'll have to do another meeting to decide a list of topic. But if something immediately comes to your mind, can you just tell me some important topics? Five, ten, whatever. One, one. Richa, start with Richa. What are the topics? Two, three topics you think will be important to learn? Uh, RBF, VBF. RBF, VBF will be. Swati, some topics. Ma'am, I I believe in simplicity, so I'll go for only vaginal repairs. Vaginal It's repairs. very important, ma'am. Okay. Uh, especially. Huh. Yeah. Okay, we'll come back to you, Harshita. Something in your mind which you think that can be important topic for this. Same. The last that you were telling, CPT and OSC. I think we should include yeah. even that in the yeah. course. And maybe incontinence, so we are doing only simple surgery. Yeah, that so will be there. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, Sanjana. Yeah, mum repairs, mum. Like all this, just see repair, wall repair, all those things. Chandana. Ah, uh, I'm here. I'm very much there. You think mom, examination, top Q, all these will be important? Taking history. Yes, mum. We can conclude in one one session as a beginning session. <laughs> 
that'll be important. we don't know that to you okay yes ma'am uh, so priti anything uh, in confidence evaluation like a lot of times over here it's not very well understood and oh. then like you always used to say that uh people use eurodynamics where it's available very loosely yes. and there are these certain indications as to when it should be used and how to actually interpret it so the proper evaluation and to uh, a very uh, resource based thing oh. like when you don't have the option of going for eurodynamic studies when to do a repair which will actually yes. be more meaningful yes that kind yeah. of a thing so even eurodynamics you guys feel that it is important so neha any thought and one more thing we oh. should also have another like a session kind of a thing on all all the materials oh. i remember you used to tell a lot about what tapes are better for oh. what what mm-hmm. exactly should be used oh. because uh, a lot of times and a lot of these i remember you telling that these sutures and these things the tapes are not uh, available in india like we would have to outsource them and so many of those things like i think some knowledge on that also probably would be I good i want you all to keep in mind also that can we why we have to get a 32000 tape from just simple yes. mesh and one instrument yes. we, that can be the available uh, in india uh, yes. and I'll, i'll give you some ideas like i the tot and tvt are such blind procedures and scary mm-hmm. i want to have a camera at the tip of the trocar inside mm-hmm. this thing mm-hmm. so that you keep us in the monitor where i am i hope i'm not injuring anything and go so there are so many things innovation we can do innovation. Like, uh, we can be like i think you really, got to win that innovative uh, yeah. neglected feel no regarding the topics i think one we can include is the complication and their management yes. as well uh, in every surgery uh, yes we can do no my physiotherapy also what are physiotherapy. the exercises we should yeah, do you think because everyone doesn't everybody doesn't get the opportunity like us to have physiotherapy yes. what are the exercises we can teach at least basic exercises so these and are the fine. clinical impact clinical yeah. impact like clinical psychology like how we deal with our patient we should tell them like we have a counseling, particularly counseling, department set up which we start with the counseling there's a person to talk and then we uh, give exercises we have a physiotherapist we can okay now you tell me last thing uh, what should be the fee because if we are involving outsiders see we will see do free of cost but even if we have to have zoom link or some platform for some people we, we have to buy that and uh, what do you think will be a decent fee for online course Ma'am, I don't know these all these RCOG and uh, Kiel University and all have these courses, right? Uh, how much do they charge? Maybe a little bit lesser than that was this no, something that they, they just... charge. What I I I told you, not A P S and all. They charge okay. around one point five lakh, one lakh. What oh, really? Like that. Yeah, they're only yes, lakh. And those uh, those the Foxy runs the courses. No, ma'am. Those fee is around like minimum is ten thousand, but I think this uh, vaginal surgery fee, uh, vala course, you know, is very expensive. It is. It's fifteen. Fifty. Fifty-five zero. Yes. Co- are we talking about the courses or are we talking about the event now? We are talking courses. about the courses. courses. This is we are talking about all. He also runs courses. Ma'am, it's twenty-five. Ten. Ten. I also think you are forty-five. Ten for the fine, I guess. Yeah, like we're starting now, no? Yes, ma'am. So like ten, fifteen, I think. Ten is too less. There's a lot of work we are doing. According to me, ten is also a little more, but I think ten is okay. What do you say? I'm eleven point five. Eleven point five. Shagun. Shagun. Shadi. Eleven thousand. Actually, sounds nice. Somebody is ready to get married. Like what marrow and everything also we take basic one you know? is uh, some ten fifteen thousand basic. That is the most basic. So. That will be the starting. Like then, as we then go, after we two can... years, three oh, yeah. years, we can see how much we are making yes. a change in the society. But I think to start with ten is okay for me. I am ready to make it. Ma'am, so we can have an opportunity of observation. We can put fifteen and give off also, ma'am. Huh? Ten months. Twenty percent off. We are giving them an opportunity of observation as well. I think we can raise the fee to like twenty five. Listen to Ritvika. Yeah. She has a very yes. good point. So post the only thing is all those things work a little better if we already have a broad outreach. Like since this is a very novel idea and it is something that we're starting with right now, uh, 
I think that probably we should start small in terms of the money we charge. Yes. Because only yeah, only yes, then that the that's number. The factor so to do you suggest eleven thousand is good. Yeah, I think then initially then we will have numbers and then yes, once yes, we know that okay, good advertisement will go ahead. Then, yeah. Yes. Eventually then we might. Yes. Huh. Because now the next step may be word of huh. mouth works, right? Like it is if we yes. attend this, yes, we yes. talk about it and like do this happens and this is yes. really good. So you can also enroll. Then yes. more people come in, then slowly we can hike up. But how many people are we including in the first place? Like, are there limited seats or are there? Depending how on many how many you enroll, enroll, how many register. But more thing, I so think. So, Prithvi, ma'am, ki popularity बहुत ज़्यादा है. People, I have seen people here also. They see her video, so it's it's gonna be like. There might be a lot of people, so we should have something. कि कुछ mind में हो कि सौ लोगों को रखना या one fifty will have. But one one thing I want to remind myself also and all of you also once more that this is properly our ultimate aim is to help women who are suffering. The second aim is to create a team who can help their suffering. Money is not even the last uh, agenda for us. See, if we have to earn money, we'll do an innovation. We have other ways to do it. That innovation fail. This is just for teaching. I think we'll we can do if our mind is clear that what we want. We don't want to earn any. We are gathering money only which is enough to sponsor. Like if any other faculty, I call. So for that, so we have to keep our mind clear that for what we want money. money. And I think for this thing, for our needs, we do not want more money. I think more than means ten thousand is more than enough to start with, isn't it? And um, then, uh, divide yes. it into two parts, ma'am, because we are giving a basic course as well as yes. we are giving an advanced yes. course. Yes. So we can divide yes. it like five thousand yes. five hundred and six thousand five hundred like. Or that. we can do one more thing. We can keep it open. Like if somebody wants to do only prolapse wala four modules, let Each them do it. Can have a separate. Each okay. module uh-huh. can also have a separate. डू During our conference, physical conference on fifteenth, sixteenth, if you buy it, it's five thousand, oh, okay. something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That then uh, coming to the last section, I started thinking about starting a Euro Gynecology Fellowship in Manipal for one year. That will be totally on-site fellowship. I thought one year, two candidates, and that's what so my idea was. My idea also is like every day I was telling them that every day obviously we will not be doing urogynecology. Yeah. Uh, but yes, it is very important that to become urogynecologist you have to learn open yes. hysterectomy. Okay. Uh, you have to yes. learn because you should know basic laparoscopy at least because there will be you have to make your foundation on that. Like you have to have some foundation of open surgeries or basic uh, uh, gynecology. so we can um, make them do those cases also i think that's what uh, my idea was and tie ups yeah. with uh, urology also ma'am example you tie up with urology also mm-hmm. so they can know what is urodynamic study how do they in case any like to vaginal fistula come to them let them go there and see how do they do that so point noted mm-hmm. so all points are being noted if you want your ma'am like in these 6 months also or i think here they allow <laughs> fellowship only for one month Anything else? Anybody? Uh, Subriti is raising her hand. You you finish your breakfast also in between. We saw you all of us are sitting hungry. Ha. <laughs> huh. Lunch time. Ha, huh, lunch. Ah, oh, lunch time actually. Ha. Huh, so anything else? Any other thing you want to discuss? Or we are good. I'll post. I'll make the minutes of it. Any day she has made it, she'll give me a copy, and I'll try to put it. If any other idea comes to your mind, and I want you to be a little more interactive, if you can be on the YouTube, that will really help us. Okay, okay. So if anything is there, you want to know uh, more. This uh, this I am going to put up. I think I have told it that I will edit this. Obviously, it has gone more than one hour recording. I think I'll edit only the important parts and I'll uh, put it in YouTube also. So we'll do it. We'll do it nicely. 
So thank you so much. So thank you, Mama. Online. Thank you. Thank you. If nothing else is there, then uh, thank you, Mama. We can wind up. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.